You're... You have many clothes. Just about average, I'd say. Do you have many stockings, too, and uh, much lingerie? Hmm? I beg your pardon? Well, I, I would like to buy a pair of stockings. Or perhaps a slip or something, if you would be kind enough to sell it to me. You know, I hardly think they'd fit you. <laughs> well, uh, that's not for me. You see, I am on my way to Munich, where my sister is in the hospital. And I wanted to buy her something before getting on the train, but all the stores were closed. I forgot it was a national holiday. So now I have a 300 kronen in my pocket and no gift for my sister's Inca. Well, can't you buy her something in Munich? Well, I will have no money in Munich. You see, uh, we are only allowed to take 100 kronen out of the country. And if I have more, then I must leave it with the customs office until my return. Yes, I forgot your strict border regulations. Oh, yes. Rules and regulations, permits and questionnaires. That's all governments are for, to make our life more difficult every day. I like your honesty, but don't you think it's dangerous to criticize your government? Oh, I know. Everybody keeps telling me to keep my mouth shut. But I am not afraid, not as long as I am the captain of the national soccer team. And how about our, our business transaction? Oh. Oh, yes. Well, let's see what's on sale today, shall we? Um, second-hand slips, scarves. Perfect. Brand new pair of stockings, extra sheer. Oh, it's wonderful. How much? Um, well, it'll cost you, um, one picture of yourself in your soccer uniform with the inscription to Mary Prescott. Thanks for the stockings. What is your name? Kubak. Uh, Jan Kubak. I, uh, I'll send you the picture, but that still leaves me with 200 kronen to spend. Why no? You are my guest for dinner tonight. Okay? Okay. Now? Now. One minute to play in the game and a 3 to 3 score. I found an opening between the Argentine center and the inside left. Seeing two Argentine half-packs moving up, I quickly passed the ball to my outside right. Then Dukovic, he carried the ball to the 11-meter line, but he was too far out, so he passed the ball back to Jan. He knew the world championship depended on his next move. He did not take any chances. He maneuvered the ball with his head into the goal, landing in the net with the ball himself. <laughs> now that the game is over, may I sort my chops? Oh, I'm sorry, of course. Thank you, madame. Oh, allow me to introduce myself, Professor Mihail Klopka. How do you do? My name is Mary Preston. Oh, I know your name, madame. After your visit to our president, you're as famous as Comrade Gubak. You would both do me a great honor if you would permit me to buy you an after-dinner liqueur. Thank you, we have had our liquor. Uh, with your permission, comrade, may I have a few words with our illustrious visitor from America? I uh, specialize in medical research. I'm on my way to Munich to attend a convention uh, where we will hear a report on your new polio vaccine. Oh, yes. Your dinner is getting cold. Thank you, comrade, but I've had enough. Of course, we found a vaccine against polio years ago. Oh, did you? Why do you look so surprised? Don't you believe we have such a serum? Uh, of course I believe you, but... Um, well, if you've had this serum all this time, uh, how is it that you never shared it with the rest of the world? Think of the lives you could have saved. I fully agree with you, madame. But for a long time, that was not our policy. I certainly think it is good to know that our two countries are beginning to understand each other better. I think it is time that we opened up our frontiers our minds, and our hearts. Shall we go, Miss Prescott? Yes. It was very nice to meet you, Professor. The honor is all mine.
But let's not uh, waste any time. Hmm? Well, what did you say? How long will you stay in Munich? Oh, just one night. I leave the day after tomorrow for London. Well, how about dinner tomorrow night? All right, if you let me take you. Well, I, I will. I will be very poor in Munich. Eight o'clock at the Hotel Fierhazeiden. This is the name of the hospital where Zinka is. Zinka go back. If they should take me off the train at the border, you call her and tell her what happened. But why should they take you off the train? Because of this. It belongs to my mother from the old days when we were rich. Beautiful watch. Yes. We are not allowed to take valuables out of the country. But Zinka needs money for operation. Well, they, they probably won't search me too closely. But if they undress me, I'll be arrested. Dress you? They, they wouldn't do that. Well, it is done quite frequently. It's horrible. Why do you hide it in your shoe? I have, uh, I have thought of everything. Shoe is the safest. Let me have that watch. No, no, I cannot. Give it to me. Look, I'm not running any risks. I have a safe conduct letter from your president, and you see those stickers? They mean that my luggage will not be opened. But there is no guarantee of that. If the customs officer tells you to open it, you have to open it, sticker or no sticker. All right, then, I, then I'll wear it. And with my other jewelry, they'll never notice it. Unless you don't trust me. I had forgotten how kind people can be. I'll see you in West Germany. Come in. Water inspection, Mr. Prescott. This is Customs Officer Trevich. How do you do? Madame Prescott, uh, I regret the necessity of inconveniencing you. It's quite all right. May I have your passport, please? Thank you. You entered with $750 in travelers' checks. Yes. How much are you taking out? $400. I was only able to spend uh, 350 in your country because my host was so generous. I will not ask you to open your luggage, madame. You are not taking out gold, silver, platinum, precious or semi-precious stones, other than the jewelry you brought with you. No, I, I can't afford to buy expensive jewelry. She's lying to you. The diamond watch on her wrist is not hers. She's trying to smuggle it out of the country. I won her confidence, and she even bragged to me that she was smuggling the watch out. But you're the one who gave it to me. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. If I gave it to you, would I report you? She showed it to me. It has the name of our famous jeweler Stanner on the back. Mr. Prescott, the watch, please. Yes, of course. Evidently, I'm the victim of some kind of a trick. You come with us, Mr. Prescott. You two, Susan Gubak. Mm -hmm. 